Yes, so my wonderful people, it is IPOB Media here once again. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for always tuning in and watching our videos. We really appreciate you. God bless you. Yes, if you're new to this channel, this is IPOB Media, the place where we bring you the good news of Piafra, the only channel where you get the latest legit news, information, updates, trends, happenings, events and everything you need to know about Biafra and our struggle for freedom. Yes, subscribe to this channel, click on the notification bell so you don't get to miss out on interesting videos like this. And uh, don't forget to share on all your social media platforms so that this video gets viral and people get to know what is going on, right? And we encourage you to share your thoughts in the comment section, share your ideas, let us know what you think, and be rest assured I'll be right there replying to every of your comments, and give this video a thumbs up as well. Alright, my people, you know this country, this zoo, the zoo is scattered, right, and everything here is messed up, and uh, Shuguri has come out to tell the public, right, what the problem of this country is, okay? You know, um, we have so many different views, right? And uh, it's best you hear from this man. Watch this video to the very end. I'll be right back. Track how much money, how much money is spent in sending children of the rich at the expense of the poor to school. You discover that an average son of a politically connected or a politically exposed person going to a school in the UK is spending over two maybe 200,000 pounds a year, the big schools. And if you break that down to Naira, it could almost build a, a, a building, a structure that has over six classrooms that is of the highest standard. They are stealing it from you. That is why I said, as part of our policy, that whereas we have no right to stop anybody from sending their children to school abroad, but they also have no right to steal our money to send their children to school abroad. And as a result, those monies that are retained, we will use it to give study grants to students that are going to school in Nigeria. In Denmark, Norway, students are paid to stay in school to the point that sometimes when they are supposed to spend four years in, in school, they spend six. Because what, they don't want what's to the go. population of Denmark? No, no. Eh? Stop so, talking about the population. The population of Nigeria is big. The problem is the population of the thieves, which is not big, but they are taking the biggest of our resources. So we want to stop that. Let everybody who can afford to send their children to school, send their children to school is your problem. But don't steal government funds to send your children to school and then prevent students okay. who are supposed to have access to their own national resources. Please take you note make of them stay at home. my follow-up question. And yes. the reason I will, I will ask it now is... And I wanted to answer I don't that, that yes, guy that I know. said he wants to be in our government. Let him join our party. This is a youth party. No more ancestors in government when we win. <laughs> no more ancestors in government. Yeah. There are a few more questions I need you to deal with, and when you are done with them, perhaps come back and talk about how you deal with corruption, since yeah. you were talking about how to deal with the money. Okay, so somebody asked um, um, what your, uh, you know, whether you remove subsidy. Oh, subsidy. Yes. <laughs> I think we should stop calling it subsidy. Okay. That's maybe it will make it easier. Mm -hmm. That particular name has been uh, demonized. The subsidy they say we have in Nigeria is the subsidy of the oligarchs. The people who are importing petrol uh, alone, when you take crude out of Nigeria, crude after the state has the capacity to get a lot of products, including your hair shampoo. We take our own crude out, we go with a whole crude. When we are coming back, we are coming back with just gallons of petrol, kerosene, jet A1, and that's all. And we see petrol at nose. Our solution is to re repair our refineries. And before you shout, oh, Shawere has come again, you are helping one man in Lagos to but finish this, his refinery. But this government has already said that subsidy is billion. going out in June, so presumably you don't disagree. I'm not taking, what I'm saying is that whatever the poor people of this country can enjoy from government, the only thing they enjoy will keep it. But we will not allow the oligarchs to add their own bill on top of it. Let me tell so you, be, kerosene is not subsidized. Yes. How is it that it's not giving us any palliative. Mm. Diesel is not subsidized. Why is it that we are, not we are not getting anything in return for unsubsidized diesel? Mm. So they just criminalize and demonize subsidy as if you can't support your citizens. So, so, so you I'm must, not from you Nigeria. Must, let, me, let me just yeah. put this in. I'm not a U.S. citizen. Guys, hear this out. 
while uh, COVID was going on, the U.S. government sent me three checks. I was, not, I was in detention. They were sending me money. I'm not even their citizen. Is that not subsidizing your citizenry? Mm -hmm. Our own leaders, they were hiding palliatives. No, it's true. From the people, until the people went and liberated the palliatives right. in Jaws. Mm -hmm. Did you not hear that? Okay, so, so you cannot keep saying that government does not subsidize. I, 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 government I, I, subsidizes I, I, everywhere. I, 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 In fact, the most Mr. subsidized Shore, people in Nigeria yeah, are the elite, Shore, the oligarchs. The problem is I'm not too sure that anybody here doesn't know what the problems are. I'm giving you, I'm saying I'm, so, 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 I'm talking told you about I'm not what has removing happened. subsidy, but don't call it subsidy so that they make it look bad. Okay, so, so we so must I, support I'm, our citizens who are vulnerable. There are 130, 130 million how, Nigerians your, who have been thrown into the poverty market. Way? How do you how do you just treat them as if they are nobody? What is your practical plan? Because I have to assume you've talked about repairing refineries. You have four refineries How are you in know, Nigeria. On the, you will carry on subsidy until refineries are have fixed. been sorted. And when you fix how refineries, you, ensure, you will have more than enough. How do you ensure yes. that the subsidy, like you said, is not stolen and you only pay for the subsidy that goes directly to the people? I'm asking for practical Was plans. Was I not now. the one who outed all the subsidy thieves on Sahara Reporters? in 2004. Did you forget? I know them individually. Mm. By the time I come to government, they know that they're out of business. Because I know them. I know all the people who are in charge of stealing subsidy money in Nigeria. I'm not saying this to brag. I know them. They know me. I know what each, or each one of them is stealing. I know people who are importing water into Nigeria under Jonathan, who called it petrol. Okay. Did it not happen? Okay. That Let they me were bring prosecuted, in they were arrested, but they were never prosecuted to today. Yes, so my people, you've heard from Showori, right? He just stated the obvious, right? It is so glaring for everybody to see this is what is going on, right? Even the, the kid in the stomach knows what is going on, and uh, it's not new. Yes, and the Showori is not on our side, though. Yes, let us see your thoughts in the comment section. Share, the, share your ideas, share your thoughts. Um, tell us what you think about this video and I'll be right there replying to every of your comments. Yes, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe. Click on the notification bell so you don't get to miss out on any of our videos. And don't forget to share on all your social media platforms um, so that this video gets viral. Thank you very much. God bless you.